hey y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you guys how i dye my wigs jet black with the box hair dye using the watercolor method and i'm actually so upset because i really didn't plan on dyeing this hair black and i already bleached the knots which i recommend doing this before you bleach your knots but i'm just gonna go back in and bleach my knots after i do this so i'm gonna be using this revlon color slip color silk in the color black so before i start dyeing the hair i'm gonna go ahead and spray the lace with this got to be free spray what this does is it kind of creates like a sealed on the lace so that the lace doesn't get um completely tinted so i'm just doing that right now to save my lace baby because we don't want no dark black lace and you do want to make sure you are spraying the lace above the hairline as well because that lace is going to be sitting on your skin and that honestly is what completely matters with this method so now i'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry this on i'm using just a hot setting this takes around three minutes honestly to completely dry that's why i use the got to be spray you can use the gel if you do have the gel but that's that shit takes forever to dry so i highly recommend getting this got to be a free spray in order to do this and then i'm gonna go in with another layer just to make sure everything is completely sealed in So now I'm just kind of pressing on it to make sure it's super hard and sealed. So to do my watercolor to today, I'm going to be using this 28 quart underbed storage box that I got from Walmart. And I'm using this um, cup. This is four cups that I'm using. And I ended up doing six of these. So I believe that's 24 cups. I did 24 cups of water. Preferably use hot water, but I did water straight from my faucet, honestly. And now I'm just pouring the Color Silk developer into the, I think it's the color going into the developer. I don't know. But then I'm just going to go ahead and shake that up. You want to shake this up really, really good. You want to make sure everything is mixed together completely. And now, now I'm going to go ahead and use my safety box. I am using two boxes, by the way. Um, two boxes is just going to work so much better than one box. You can use one box, but I don't know if one box would be enough. So, And then I just kind of let these sit for about five minutes before I pour them in. And I hated how this was coming out into the water, y'all, honestly, but it's okay. Um, so like I said, I do recommend using hot, hot water. This water was hot, but it wasn't hot, hot. So definitely try to use boiling water if you can. But this it still works using just regular hot water from the faucet. So there I just added a little bit of water to the bottle and I'm shaking it up just to get the remainder of the dye out that didn't come out the first time that I poured it. So I know somebody might wonder why I'm dying black hair black. Y'all, the hair that I'm dying is not black. It's like a brownish, blackish color, but I like my hair to be completely jet black. Like I don't want to see any brown in the hair at all. So now I'm just mixing this together. And now y'all might be able to see why I say use boiling water instead of just hot water because it'll help this dissolve way better. That's definitely a mistake I made. I mean, it still dyed the hair jet black completely, but I think it would just work a lot better had I used boiling water instead. And please ignore my two nails, y'all. <laughs> I was trying a new dip powder that I bought and I was just trying it out. So please mind your business, sis, mind your business. <laughs> So now I'm just slowly dipping the hair into the water and then I'm going to take my brush to completely submerge the rest of the hair. So when it comes to my lace, I'm actually not going to completely let it submerge into the water, but instead I'm going to give the hairline a little bit of a dip so that some of the hair dye gets onto the hairline. But after that, I leave the lace completely sticking out because I don't want to make the mistake of tinting this lace on accident. And I let it sit like that for 10 minutes and then I go back in and I dip the hairline again to make sure I get more dye onto it. And then I let that sit for five minutes. So basically all in all, it took me about 15 minutes for this hair to completely dye. And you don't want to leave it on any longer than that because that's when you run the risk of tinting your lace, which you do not want that. <laughs> and y'all look, it came out black. It's completely jet black. This method works perfectly. 
and then once you take it out you want to go ahead and rinse it until the water runs clear but y'all this lace did not tan at all the lace is completely the exact same way it was when i got the hair look like no dye whatsoever on this lace and it's th this is a hd lace and i'm sure this method works for all different types of laces so now i am using some conditioner to soften this hair back up i'm not going to use shampoo because i actually already shampooed this hair when i first got it so i'm just going to use a little bit of some conditioner and also this hair is from cheetah beauty hair i love this hair so much it's my favorite hair company and i'm going to leave the link in the description box So now I'm going to insert an image of how it came out. Super cute. Um, I just love jet black hair so much. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos.